Let, let's draw a graph and calculate consumer surplus and producer surplus, at least for perfect competition. Right? What if I tell you that the consumer's maximum willingness to pay, maximum willingness to pay is, let's say, $23, and the producer's minimum willingness to sell four dollars your competition price in equilibrium twelve dollars and your competition outcome in terms of quantity 100 units okay and i ask you to draw a graph okay so you draw your graph q P your demand curve, right? If I ask you to do it in the exam, you write demand. If you write D, then later on you have to explain and tell me what D is. Supply, again, if you write S, you have to tell me later what S is. And then remember, maximum willingness to pay, 23. Minimum willingness to sell, $4.00. Don't forget to put that there then. $23. $4. Equilibrium quantity. 100 units. QPC. Equilibrium price. $12. Right. P. PC. Alright, then. Given this information. Calculate consumer surplus, calculate producer surplus, and show us total welfare. Okay, so consumer surplus is the difference between the maximum willingness to pay and the equilibrium price multiplied by the amounts sold. Producer surplus is the difference between the selling price minus the minimum willingness to sell multiplied by equilibrium price. Total welfare is all of that put together, right? This is consumer surplus, producer surplus total welfare okay so let's calculate this okay so consumer surplus 0 0.5 because it's an area of a triangle maximum willingness to pay minus the selling price ppc multiplied by the selling quantity or the equilibrium quantity let's like say qpc 0 0.5 multiplied by 23 minus 12 multiplied by 100 0 0.5 times 9 times 100 and you must show me the workings if you don't show me the workings it's, you're not going to get any marks consumer surplus is equal to 450 dollars okay let's calculate producer surplus Producer surplus, again it's a triangle, so 0 0.5, selling price, PPC, minus minimum willingness to sell, minimum willingness to sell, multiplied by the amount sold in equilibrium. 0 0.5, selling price is 12, producers not willing to sell for anything less than $4. So just calculate. And producer surplus is equal to four hundred dollars and total welfare total welfare is equal to consumer surplus plus producer surplus 450 plus 400 and total welfare is equal to eight hundred fifty dollars this is the efficient outcome under perfect competition. Okay. And what if I ask you to compare this outcome, I ask you to discuss this outcome with the monopoly outcome. What do you say? Well, one thing we know, under monopoly, the price will be higher than under perfect competition. And the quantity in perfect competition is higher than under monopoly. We know this will lead in monopoly to an inefficient outcome it will be inefficient okay which means there will be dead weight loss right 
and because there's going to be dead weight loss there's going to be a fall in the total welfare total welfare will fall we can show you this right okay uh, but before that what does that mean over here right that means that you will have your new equilibriums will be different okay your old equilibrium for price your old equilibrium for price was twelve dollars your new equilibrium for price will be greater than twelve dollars price will be higher than under profit competition your competitive uh, outcome for quantity was 100 units and under monopoly it will be less than 100 units right so you should understand this We can show you this graphically, right? Now we said look at the monopoly situation. Okay, we look at the monopoly situation. Then this will be your marginal cost curve for monopoly. Then you need your marginal revenue curve. Right? Then marginal revenue equal to marginal cost to find Q star, in this case QM. over here and you can see that output will be less than 100 units and you can see that price equilibrium price will be greater than $12 All right. and consumer surplus will fall under monopoly under perfect competition consumer surplus was this area over here under monopoly consumer surplus is just this area over here consumer surplus will fall the consumer will lose this area to the producer and this area dead weight loss nobody gets and the producer under perfect competition had this area over here now we'll have this area over here gains this area from the consumer loses this area to dead weight loss right so there's a dead weight loss which cannot be recouped equal to this area over here dead weight loss just disappears Total welfare is now going to be equal to this area over here, which if we had the numbers, would be less than $850.